All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of my hashtag Road to Glory. We should be finishing our sixth season today, our first in League Two, and hopefully getting promotion. This is the league table, right? We are top. We have got a six-point lead, and we have 14 games left. So there's still plenty of time for things to go wrong. But in terms of form, I back my boys all the way to the bank. We've got a game straight away against South End. Only league games left now. We've got no cup competitions left. A bit of a dodgy spell at the start of January, but we've, we've picked up the form again recently, so I'm hoping to continue that. Five, six wins away, I reckon, from guaranteeing promotion uh, because top three go up. Make sure you drop a like on this video if you're enjoying the series. Check out the old ones if you want to get up to date. The whole playlist there, lots of episodes now, but we're only really halfway of our mission to get into the Premier League and Champions League football. We're only about halfway, guys, and it's going to get harder and harder now unless we get some money to spend. Hopefully this episode, we'll see what we get for next season. Let's go. So South End up first. Grimsby straight after. South End are in seventh. This is the team I've got set up. Let's hope we can win this. Let's get straight in. Holsgrove's been on great form up front recently. Second time we're playing them this season. Oh, that's a bad ball from Hutchinson. And what an interception from the OG, LB Keith, who's still with us. Salgado! Good save from Salford. Ball coming in here. Oh, it's a goal for South End. Shane Fry has scored it. We're 1-0 down. Not how I'd have liked this episode to start. Here we go. Albie Keith. Come on, Albs. Lead us. Lead us, Albie. Ball in. Come on, we've got to get on this now. Corbino. Second season alone with us. Holsgrove with another header. This guy has scored five plus headers this season of his 11 goals. And he's got six out of 20 for heading. Would I take a draw? Probably, to be honest. But we've got the ability to win. Holsgrove. Hi. This is great football. That is unbelievable football. Where was the South End defence? Needham. To Griffiths. A lot of people getting game time here that wouldn't normally get it. Corbino. Salgado! Rebound. Yes! Fifth goal of the season for the youngster. This is a good performance, boys. These guys are seventh in the league. And we're missing probably our most important player, Niall Clark. We're missing lots of players, to be honest. They've got a chance to get a second one here, though. Oh, it's over. Keeper was stranded, though. Boys, we can get a four from telling you. Faz over to Albi. Original. Two original. It's going to come back to Needham. Whipped in. Salgado! Get in! I think that might be the first time he scored two goals for us. Augustin has started to finally add some goals to his contribution now, but that's a bad, bad ball. The on loan man from Newcastle, the Swede, almost cost us a goal there. Right, we're going to win this game very comfortably in the end. Although we went 1-0 down, let's not forget that. Salgado gets man of the match. If we don't go up this year, I will eat this hat. First versus second, up next. They've just drawn. We've got them away. Would I take a draw, I hear you ask? Yes. Lee Harkin is out for four to seven weeks. But arguably our best player of the season. Out for four to seven weeks. I might be eating this hat, guys. Frankie Needham, the young left back on loan, who just played last game, is out for three to four months. So just like that, two significant injuries have come in out of nowhere, by the way. Deliver under pressure. Come on, the boys. This strike force, this ragtag bunch of individuals, they've been coming good for me. Let's make it happen again. What can you do? The son of Sean Wright Phillips. To Salgado! He's in a fine vein of goal-scoring form at the moment. Ruffles. Cometio. Holsgrove. Salgado! Oh, my God! The man has started to step up when we needed him to. We gave the youngster five, six months of the season just to get used to the, the flow of things at hashtag. But now when we need him to score, he is scoring. That's three in less than two games. Oh, it's all, we're all over them right now. Can we get it in? Go on. Oh, my gosh. Right, Phillips. Cry me. Boys. That's a very big result against second in the league. And we have Salgado to thank for it. Holes group with the assist. They're creating a partnership. It reminds me of Shearer and Sheringham in 1996. It's only a five to six day injury, but still, that's like two games worth. It's another injury, this time Wright Phillips. They seem to come in, in periods of injury in this game. So you go fine for two months and you have like eight injuries in one go. So we've got Newport County today, yeah? Newport County, then we've got Rochdale four days after, then we've got a week off. Okay, so let's get through these games. Look at this. This is green circles. That's what we want, people. Lots of green. Um, Newport County are down in, in 19th, right? And we've got them at home, I believe. This partnership between Holsgrove and Salgado, I want to let it flourish, you know? They're, they're really, I'm really enjoying it. Suarez and Sturridge. Shearer and Shering. Andy Carroll and Mikel Antonio. Lee Harkins, our top goal scorer, and we haven't got him right now. But Clark puts the ball in. Holsgrove has been scoring a lot of goals. A surprising amount of goals. Clark stays up. That is what Niall Clark can do. The man's a centre-back or right-back, but he scores worldies. He single-handedly kept in the FA Cup this season, and then he does that on the half volley. Niall Clark, you're an absolute specimen of a man. Oh, and Jamie Andrews just scored as well. Comes into the side for Griffiths and he says, Remember me, Jamie Andrews? Yeah, that's what I can do. 
Refs made a through run. Refs made a run to get the ball then. He's gone ahead of the action. Oh. This is what happens when you take Clark off. Clark's been off for one minute and they've scored. Yes. Good. Noel Clark, man of the match. Let's remind ourselves of the situation. We are now 13 points clear because we just won three in the trot, including beating Grimsby. So we're dropping points like nobody's business. They've just drawn again. The mugs. Wimbledon won though. We are 14 points clear of fourth. And we have 11 games left. So still got quite a while to go before we can secure promotion. Corbin Oat is out for three to five months, boys. That's a key player, right-sided player. That puts a lot of pressure on Wright Phillips now. And that's ended his loan, for sure. I can't terminate it. Whether we go back in for him in the summer, I don't know. So we've got Rochdale away next. Where are Rochdale? They're ninth. Excellent news. So if you saw last episode, you know Niall Clark, we actually got a £1.5 million offer for him. Uh, the board accepted it on my behalf. I didn't get a choice, but he turned it down. He wanted to stay. Same with Jamie Andrews, had a much lower offer, but still an offer to go. And as a result, I gave him a new contract now to 2027. I've signed him up. I've put him up. I've doubled his wages, but we can we can justify it. He's the best player in the club by miles. And he's delighted to be working under you due to his admiration for you. I admire you, Niall. Right now, if you keep doing what you're doing, you will get a senior cap for Ireland under my guidance it will happen for you now let's go with that side come on lee buchanan's first game back from injury maybe i've rushed him back because he's got an injury already holsgrew's picked up a knock now as well are you kidding me it's a lot of games i know scott high just misses there mcgregor for them oh that's pat it's offside yes get that ball off him here we go counter scott high sends it long it's gonna come to Rhodes. playing out on the right Put it in the middle, mate. There's two of them. There you go. Salgado. Oh, my God. I think we're going to draw this one, but we take that considering the situation. There's two first half injuries. Nil nil. Holes groove out for two to six days. That's fine. He should be back for next game. Lee Buchanan, one to two days. We, we managed it well there with the half time subs. Right. Oh, massive game coming up next, guys. AFC Wimbledon, who are now in second after we beat Grimsby. Oh, we've got them. We win that. I mean, it's done. And that won't be mathematically, but I'm telling you it will be. Right. Massive game now, guys. The good point is, I think we've got to the point in the season where the games are like a week apart now, so we get a little bit of recovery time, which is vital. Let's go. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Get rid. Here we go then. Clark. There we go. Rhodes. Oh, Mickey Rhodes. Take me home to the place I belong. This is a big game, don't forget. This is first versus second. I've you know, had some good results recently, but let's not forget how important this game is. And that's a massive save, isn't it? It looked like a save, but I think it wasn't. Getting starved a little bit of possession here in our own gaff. Jamie Andrews over the ball forward. They've cleared it away. Boys, Minoga's looking a bit outpaced there. All right, if Minoga's slower than Regarkis, Regarkis comes on at half time. Get on that, get on that. Scott High, that's fantastic. Andrews the ball for Salgado. Got a score there, Roberto. Got a problem here with Kirk. Kirk is a player we nearly signed, remember, at the start of the season. He went to Wimbledon instead. Oh, and he's nearly set up a goal there. Can we get a second goal, Regarkis, with a throw in? Oh, we might have won a penalty there. I think we have. Now, who's on this with no holes groove? Oh, it's a red card as well. Second yellow. Scott High. Go on. Scotty High. Come on. Regarkis, that's your area. Surely, mate. You've got to get out to him. Bony saves it and saves us. Good header. Go on, Augustine. What you got? So, Gardo's going to get there. Should have scored again. Go on, right. Hit it. We could have scored four or five here. To Rhodes. Can he feed it through? What a player this lad is. What a player this lad is. Oh my God. Boys, this is another big win. First versus second, and we've just done them. Second half, we've killed them. Mick Rhodes got man of the match. I think that's the league done, boys. Definitely promotion done. Gotta be. Look at that, 18 points, lads. Board are delighted you've achieved one of the objectives laid out in the club's vision. Secured the playoffs two years ahead of schedule. You're welcome. Cometio in the team of the week. Well done, my friend. Oh, for God's sake. Why can't these guys stay fit? Another injury for Wright Phillips. He is susceptible to injuries, to be fair. I think we're going to win the league regardless. But if we were fighting for every point right now, losing both our right-sided wingers constantly is a problem. Yes, Manager of the Month award. We've won 83% uh, of our games, five out of six with the draw in there as well. Only conceded two goals, boys. Away game, Agman Red, Redbridge. They are where in the league? 19. They're fighting for their life at the bottom. Don't expect this to be easy. Play. Holes grew through to Salgado. Come on, you're better than that. Offside. It's offside. Don't worry, boys. Buchanan. Holes groove. Salgado, go on. He's going to score that. Oh, my God. 
Harmony, well done. Holes groove. Square it. Why do they never square it? HarryKane.com. Always one highlight left, boys. 60 seconds. Ruffles. Here we go. Augustson. Go on, Augustson. Off the bench. Oh, it's not a bad effort. Um, right. We drew that game. Holes groove gets MOM. Doncaster away next. Only on verge of Skybet League to clean sheets milestone. The mass 20 so far and the record's 22, so we're close. But we, we tend to beat the clean sheet record whatever league we're in. We do prioritise defence, I'd say, over attack. Let's go with that team. Go on. Salgado. Can you shoot from that angle? It's a good tackle. Rhodes. No, he's lost it. Uh-oh. Ooh. Wow. That, that goal was so good, the, the camera hadn't even caught up with it. This is 17th goal of the season. That's more than anyone's got an our team. Here we go. Clark on the free kick. He loves an assist. Right. So Gardo's fallen over and just tucked it in on the floor. He's really started to provide the goals recently. Very important. Right with the assist. So Gardo with the goal. Go on. Andrews. He's found himself starting a lot recently. Cometio. Oh, they've dealt with it. No, nope, they haven't. They're going to straight to Harkin. So Gardo. Oh, it seems a little technique on that. Oh, Buchanan clears it. Here we go. Let's go. Hold groove. Look at the pace. Look at the touch. Holes groove. Oh, they might get one here. Oh, no. Good from Rigarkis. Let's go. Harkin. Go on, Harkin. He's back in the side. Reminding us what he's capable of. But a bit rusty, as you'd expect. Pretty even game. You can't really argue with the draw. We're dropping some points here and there, but I'm still confident. We've got fifth place Wickham next. It's a 12-point lead still. Seven games left. That's 21 points available. Brilliant. Adam Lovett's out injured as well. He's not been playing much recently. Regarkis is out for four to five weeks. Last thing we needed. Man, we struggle a lot for injuries in the latter end of the season. I'm going to give Rhodes another game. Let's go. It's half time here and it's nil-nil. Come on, give me one goal. We have two games about a win. It's a little bit worrying as we're trying to clinch this title. So it'd be good if we can get a goal here. Jamie Andrews. Singano. Clark. Holes Groove again with the header and it's off the bar, man. Disappointing. Disappointing. Another draw. Uh, Toby Amole plays for them. Yeah, I looked at getting him at one point. And the match he got. Uh, yeah, very disappointing. But it was an, an opportunity to bring some people back from injury there, which will be ready for the next game now. Filed in two days. At home. Secure playoffs already. We've got 10 points still. Six games left. We should be fine, lads. We really should be fine. Oldsgrove's still the best performing player in the league. We're nowhere near the goals and assists top charts, are we? You know what, boys? We're going to mix it up this game. Augustine's going to start in there with Harkin. Noose partnership in there. You happy with that, team? Let's go for it. Don't get injured, right, Phillips? That's what I ask of you. Come on, then. Goals coming in. Trust me, goals coming in from those front two. Time to wrap this league up now. Albie Keith. Oh, what a ball that is over to right, Phillips. Back from injury. Ripped into Harkin. Come on. He's been out for a while. They've been questioning him. Straight in the starting lineup. Straight in the goals. Singano. Keith. Whipped in. Augustine. Keith. Harkin. Oh, it's two in 23 minutes from Harkin. Harkin Herald Angels sing glory to the hashtag king. Come on. It's not over yet, though. It's only 2-0. Oh, here we go. Harkin hat trick. Oh, he did, the, he did the little ball roll before, like they're doing FIFA. Rhythm is a dancer. Harkin is the answer. Love that. Singano. Keith. Keith gets it in. That's an OG link up. Faz with the assist. Albie with the goal. High on the free kick. Oh, my God. Scott High just banged a free kick in. He's a player and he can cartwheel. Yeah, we've missed the goals of Harkin for sure. Could get a fifth, lads. Ruffles. Keith, he wins a pen. Got to let Harkin take this. Oh, it's high. He scores it, but Harkin's on a hat trick. Let's keep the clean sheet if we can. Good. Oh, oh my God. It's another save from Boney. We could have definitely conceded here and we haven't. Come on, we're just giving... Just blow the whistle, ref. There you go. Done. 5-0. We're back. Harkin, man of the match, on his first start on his return from injury. That's big. Now, what does that mean? 11 points clear of second. 12 points clear of fourth. Five games left. 15 points. But potentially one win away. Look at this team of the week. Boney, Singano, High, Keith, and Harkin. That's five of the 11. Coming to the end of the season now. Oldham away. Northampton a week later. I said I wanted to have promotion sort by the time I played Northampton. Scott Pollock. I don't know if I will. Liam Griffiths out for four to five weeks. This is a lone player. He's very hotly tipped, as you can see. He's been okay for us this year. I wouldn't say he's been as good as his stars suggest he should be for us. He's started a lot of games. He's been good. His stats are very good. And the good news is we've got him on loan for next season as well. So it doesn't rule him out for, for us, but it probably rules him out for the rest of this season. Right, let's do this. Oldham's going to get a win. We haven't had an away win in a little while. Let's see what we can do, boys. Clark. Cometio. Oh, 
Come on, boys. Right, nil nil at half time. Very common situation we find ourselves in in these games. We're missing Harkin, man. We just don't score and we don't have Harkin. Not as much anyway. It's a squeaky bum time though. Maybe we can win it against Northampton. We can win the league against Scott Pollock potentially. Take a nil nil. It's another clean sheet. Cometio man in the match. We should be winning those games. We've mathematically been promoted, lads. We have been promoted. Haven't won the league yet. The promotion is 100% guaranteed, everybody. That draw just did it. Come on, that is six successive promotions. Now we need to make it six successive championship wins. This is the key thing. 72K a week, transfer budget of 19K. For League One, I think I can keep us up with that with some free transfers with some loan deals. It's time for Spencer Owen, the chairman, let someone else come in and give me some bloody money because I can keep the good times rolling. I just need the financial backing. LB Keith signs a new contract. Good, that's him locked in. 700 quid a week for another year. He gets to play League One football with us. So we will have another original going strong. We can win the title in our next game, apparently. So we beat them 3-1 in a friendly. We actually lost to them in the league. One of the few games we lost this season. We lost to them at home as well. So we've got a bit of a revenge we need on them here. Let's go. Come on. Right, Pollock. This will be the last game you play against us, son. Because I'm coming for you big time in the summer. Okay, Northampton coming forward here. And we're 1-0 down. This is what happens when we don't start. I'm cautious. Free kick here, holes grid. We know what he can do. Penalty, good. 10 hours without a goal. Change it. Good boy. He's back in the goals. It's his 12th goal of the season. Probably five or six of those in the penalty spot. Well, Hampton coming at us here. Remember, we can win the league here if we get a win, potentially. But it looks like it's going to be them off the post. They're all over us here, boys. Cometio. Buchanan into Hull's groove. Nice header down to Andrews. Let's go. Jamie Andrews rides the challenge. Harkin! Oh, he just didn't put enough power on that. Cometio. Loves to give the ball away, that bloke. Oh, here we go. Solgado off the bench. Super sub. Oh, go on then. Right, what can you do? He beats his man. Puts it in. Oh, boys. Another away draw. No wins against Northampton this season. Scott Pollock played a 6.8. Hull's groove man of the match. They can us wait a little bit longer for this title. Keith's out for four to five weeks. So he's gonna it's done. The season's done for him. Ironically, just as he signs a new contract. Holes Groove ends a goal drought, that's a positive. Beat Bradford at home, it's done. I can't remember the last time we started without a lone player, lads. See how we get on. Can we get it back? Oh no, I don't like the start of this. Don't like the way it's looking here, lads. Oh, that's a very nice goal. I can't remember the last time we went 1-0 down at home. This is the danger when you mix it up. That's some very important lone players playing, you know. None less so than Harkin, but let's see what we can do. Right, holes grew. Good football. Go on, right. What's with that finish? <sighs> not going well, lads. They could go 2 0 up here. We're not going to bottle the league title, are we? Oh my god. You see that goal? We've conceded two unbelievable goals here. Right, Phillips. Go on. Holes grew. Oh, I had to be put in. Here we go. Right. What can you do? Don't shoot. Why are you shooting on your right foot, you mug? We might concede a third. Imagine we lose 3-0 here, by the way. Boys. Oh, my God. That's what happens when you don't play any of the lone players. That is a reminder. We just got mugged off 2-0 at home. We haven't won the league yet, boys. Can we not bottle this, please? Six-point lead, two games left. We need one point. We've got a home game, and then another, I'm guessing, an away game after that. Yeah. Mame K Dons, who are third, then Tranmere is 16th. We need one point from two games. Maybe we are getting a bit complacent, boys. Maybe the lads are getting too confident. Let's go, boys. Come on. One point will do. Come on, then. Salgado going through. Oh, I wasn't going to start him. But then I realised I had no right-sided player. I'd like to put Harkin back to right wing. What's going on, lads? We are absolutely bottling it at the end of the season here. Rhodes clipping it in. Salgado! That's more like it. Augustine with the assist. Well done, Salgado. Here we go. Another chance. Clark. Oh, Andrews over to Salgado, the goal scorer. We've seen it into Augustine. Good. His loan deal for 4K a week justifying itself in the goal that might win us the league, although the draw technically was winning us the league already. Salgado, also a new player this season. Go on, Salgado. Oh, he unselfishly passes to Harkin, who should score. Nice knock on. Here we go, Augustine. Get another one. Oh my god, he's showing us what he's all about now. Augustine could have a hat trick here. Instead, he squares it to Salgado. Should have scored. Holes grooves. They go passing to each other. 
Andrews switched over to Rigakis. We're doing for right. Oh, what a header off the bench. Tyreek Wright, four for the season. Good. Oh, they're not finished. Good save, Boney. What a player. There it is. Game's over. Celebrating the title. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six titles in a row. This came to the penultimate game of the season, but we've done it again. And it's quite frankly unbelievable. So Gardo and Augustine both getting 9.2s there. Order delighted. They stated their surprise at the achievement and wish to thank Owen for leading the club to this unexpected success. Right, last game of the season, boys. Everyone's fit as a fiddle, ready to go. Some good players missing out, but that's purely tactical. Let's go, boys. Poor Boney's scrambling to save that. Oh, Clark's made an error there. Boney saves the day again. Problem is Alvarez is homegrown. What a ball from Ruffles. Second header in two games from right there. Right. Whipped in. Togado! I was going to top him off. Ruffles, by the way, both assists in this game. 2-0. Brilliant. Hallsgrove. Tried a shot. Regarkis. What do you reckon it is? Regarkis or Rigakis? Oh, another header for Hallsgrove. Doesn't make any sense. He has six for heading. Harkin with the assist off the bench. Hallsgrove has been a real surprise package this year. Might concede here. Oh, no. Got me the near post there. Josh Ruffles, two assists. Great from him. Very good way to finish the season, boys. This conference I'm not going to go to. We've got 28.6k for that. The Wimbledon and MK Dons, the two kind of rival clubs, came up together with us. But we ended up doing it by eight points in the end. Here we go. Right, this is my favourite bit of the year. Best 11 squad. Niall Clark has made it in. He's come in. I think he's taken Stampy's place. Uh, Holsgrove and Minoga, I think, have made it onto the bench. Let's view the best 11 here. You can see it there. Let's view it here. So that's that's the best 11, all-time best 11. All still in goal. Ruffles, Singano, Izu, Clark. Love it. Jamie Andrews has made it in. Uh, Sude, Keith, and George Smith. So we've still got Keith. We're about to release a Sude. Got Andrews. We've lost Gleed. We've still got Love It. We've still got Ruffles. Still got Farai. We've got Clark. We haven't got Izu. We haven't got Hawes anymore. The bench. Boney's made it in. He's hit 100 games to the club now. Noga's made it in, but he's going to be leaving us. Holsgrove's made it in. That's the best 11, boys. In the season awards, Holsgrove gets player of the season. I thought he would. Clark and Harkin, second and third. He's got a high goal of the season. Salgado signing of the season. Young player of the season, Jamie Andrews. That was the team of the season as opposed to the all-time team. So let's watch the best goal again. I actually thought there was a better goal than this, but let's have a look at it. This might have been one of High's first goals as well. Ball in. Cleared. Wait for it. Bang. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? All right, club vision and expectations. Fight bravely against relegation for the first time we've been given the task of just staying up. That's all they expect. They just want us to fight bravely against relegation. Right, we can re-sign Lee Harkin. I think that's pretty big, boys. Lee Harkin's staying for another year. Playoff final here. Winner goes up with us. Wow. Grimsby won it in extra time. And then, oh my God. It was one all after 90 and there was five extra time goals. What a game of football. Well done, Grimsby. As part of our League 2 Solidarity Payment Scheme, we've received 482k. That's good. Team of the Year, we've got four players in there. Buchanan, Comitio, Clark and Holsgrove. Oh, wow. I didn't realise Fry had a... That's annoying. I had him then prepared probably to accept a 1.2k contract. I couldn't get him to agree it. Well, because I was trying to get him for 1k. And instead, he's tr I didn't realise he had a clause. So he's just renewed it for a year and the same money. The good news is Fry stays. Bad news, I could have got him probably 600 quid a week cheaper. Okay, oh, look at this, boy. This is great news. Right, the border come back. Better affiliate options than Sunderland. Arsenal and West Ham. I mean, obviously, part of me wants to go with West Ham, right? They have superb youth facilities. They're going to produce good players. Then we've got Arsenal as well. Also have superb youth facilities. You think they're going to produce better players, surely. Wow, Arsenal will pay me an annual fee of 100k. West Ham will pay me 50k. I mean, surely that's answered the question right there. It's got to be Arsenal. We've got to take the money. Under the terms of the agreement, the following will apply with immediate effect. Arsenal will send us players. 100k fee a year. That's big, boys. I'm very happy about the Arsenal link. Alvarez and Boney sign new contracts. All right, transfer windows open. I'm hoping that might mean that Scott Pollock is now interested. Nottingham Forest have offered five, 550k for Niall Clark. We had a deal of 1.5 million accepted, so I don't want to sell him. And as far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't go for anything less than millions. Okay, Scott Pollock, they're going to talk to me. He's requested to leave. They want 2.9k, two years. Let's see what we can negotiate with these boys. I'm just going to offer this to them. I just want to get it done now. Scott Pollock. 
I think we have a deal. The biggest transfer in the history of transfers. Not my words, the words of Top Gear magazine. Let's get it done. It's been six years in the making. We've let him just thrive and prosper and grow as a man and as a player at Northampton. Thank you to Northampton for all the work you've done. But it's time to let Scott come home with a league above you now, with a better place for him to be for his career. It's just a fact. Mansfield have made an 83 grand offer for Ross Gleach. Should I get in on it? I, I can I can I can potentially offer that. I don't need him per se, but I, I'm gonna offer it. Make an inquiry. Scott Pollock has agreed to join the club. He's delighted to be joining Hashtag due to a long-held passion for the club. He's got a clean bill of health, no immediate concerns. It's going to cost me 14k, my transfer budget, signing on fees and whatnot. But listen, we were going to pay about 600k from a year ago, so we're happy with that. Boys, Scott Pollock is coming home. Bang! Come on, he joins on the 1st of July. Gleed, they want 200k? Get out of my face. We're going to get 525k for TV rights. We're MK Dons in the Carabao Cup. So we've got them in the Carabao Cup first round. They're expecting us to fight against relegation, reach third round of the FA Cup, second round of the Carabao Cup. So same goals for the Cups as last season. Okay, so this is our league now. You can see the sort of teams we're in with. We've got Coventry in there, Cardiff, Ipswich, wow. Sunderland, Wigan. Big, big clubs. The Minogue we're going to lose. We know that. Let's get him re re relegated. If Needham wow. we're going to lose. I want to get these guys out of the squad. Augustine, I'm going to go in for again, see if he lets me come now. No, they don't, they don't want me to have Augustine, so let's let him go. Cometio's the one in it. Oh, I can't sign him, boys. It's 800k during compensation. Same thing happened with um, Armstrong. The best thing we can hope for is that he either leaves them or he uh, he gets a new contract with them and then we loan him again. Don't think we're going to get Cometio, so we're going to need a centre-back. 90k gets you Williams, guys. 90k. And that goes straight to Gleedy. We've had an offer. 90k for Veron Williams. Sell him, get Gleed. Better in every department than Veron Williams. Lose Veron Williams, use the money to get Gleed. Surely this is the deal. So we're going to see if Williams accepts that next episode. If he does, we'll bring home Ross Gleed. And then we'll have Pollock and Gleed and Fry and Albie and Jack Martin all together again in League One. What a story that would be. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this epic episode of my Football Manager Road to Glory. Six seasons down. Next time we'll start season seven. It's going to be a relegation battle apparently. But you know me. I've got other ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you've got notification bell turned on. Until next time. Don't go changing. Don't forget to hashtag it.